Hey guys, Oliver here from Smiley Reacts, here to react to the next episode of Fruits Basket, episode 22 of season 2. That isn't what I want, so uh, last episode we got a bit more of uh, Yuki's backstory, and bo oh boy was it a tragic one. Seems like everyone in this uh, show has uh, messed up backgrounds, um, I guess... It makes sense considering the fact, you know, everyone in this show is connected in some way. Um, you know, with uh, Toru's background and uh, the Soma's backgrounds. They're all being connected. But, uh, yeah, I don't know whose uh, background is the m most tragic so far. It's probably a toss-up between Yuki's and uh, Rin's. I, but I guess, in a way, you shouldn't really compare them. Mm. Uh, but yeah, let us, because I'm already a couple of days late to this, I uh, apologise for that, just being back at work and I was just, you know, flat out, so like my body just was just like, ugh, almost like uh, falling asleep, well not fall, uh, falling asleep, but I just felt really knackered for like several days, so I actually feel a lot better now. Um, so I'm hoping to do both, well, I'm planning on doing both uh, Fruits Basket and uh, ReZero. Um, and then I'll have, you know, all the seasonals done for the time being. But anyway, that's enough talk. Let us uh, jump into episode, uh, oh crap, was it, 22? Uh, yeah, 22 of uh, Fruits Basket Season 2 in uh, 3, 2, 1. Who would it? Yeah, because that's right, she started off in the tent. As you sh very well should, Yuki, as you very well should. Yeah, like Toru, like. Pretty much has said, like, I want to still remain friends with you, even if, you, like, somebody comes along and erases my memories of you, Yuki. You know, it just occurred to me, we actually haven't a actually seen how they erase memories. Like, we've seen, like, the, the before and after um, of it, but we haven't actually seen them actually do it, so it makes me wonder if we are actually going to see it at some point, like, they're going to have to, somebody's going to erase somebody's memories at some point, and we're actually going to see it. I can't see it happening to Toru, luckily, but I'm sure there's going to be somebody later on who will have to have their memories erased. Either um, forcefully or willingly. I don't know which one it would be and I don't know what character would this happen to. But that's my, that's my thoughts at the moment. Oh, well, at least we're starting pretty much straight off from where we last ended. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, his mother hasn't really been much help until, well, very recently.
I really did like how like Rin was just like hugging Toru at the end of that episode. Oh, okay, the night co transformed. I thought as much. Yeah, I don't see Yuki having romantic feelings for Toru at all. Guess that this like really did uh sink that ship, <laughs> the Yuki Toru ship, for a lot of people maybe in the when they read it in the manga. So it's like, oh, we can't ship them anymore. But they're still co, I guess. <laughs> And she was very adorable there too. Do they though? Do they? I don't think so. Don't you have to be like really messed up to look for a woman that's like your mother? But then again. The Somers are pretty messed up. <laughs> yeah, they're healing. They're getting better, but it's still. Nice kick, Yuki. Mm. Especially since now we know about what happened in his childhood. All he really wanted was for somebody to be his friend. And he tried to try uh, getting Ko to be his friend, but Ko rejected him. Don't think anyone really wants to be defeated by the darkness. But with the Sormers and with Yuki here, yeah, the darkness is something else. So. Hmm. I am very interested in finding out about how Yuki's journey is going to continue from here. Ah, <laughs> uh, back to their normal antics. Oh, KO'd. <laughs> no, it looks like you're perfectly fine. Just lie there for a while. <laughs> Yeah, he totally forgot about it, after all. I 
I actually did find out that um, for the dub of Fruits Basket, uh, season two at the very least, one of the few English dub actresses that I actually like does uh, voice her. I don't have any interest in watching the dub though. <laughs> But it's just something I found out the other day. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, he's going to say no. <laughs> so burdening? Is that even a word? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be sooner rather than later, after all, when he'll be able to say something. Oh dear, I see. Cinderella, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, of course, yeah, of course you're going to go see it now. And record it. <laughs> Confiscated. Oh no. Not oh that's a okay this is adorable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's clear. <laughs> he just arrived obviously. <laughs> He's Oh, that look. Oh, wow. Oh, that look Ko just gave. I think, he, did he totally forget about it too? Don't, don't worry about it yet. Yeah, he... he Ko is kind of looking like, is, sorry, let me get my wording right. Ko at the moment is being a little sundere, just a little bit. <laughs> That's how I see it anyway. But he d Yuki is right, he does need to get, Ko does need to get his uh, shit together. I'm, I I think I did discuss this in the comments of one of my previous reactions, but I thought Ko already knew about the hat. I guess not. Like, I knew it was Ko's hat to begin with. Oh dear, we got this guy. <laughs> we got the brother again. How many costume changes? Oh, they're fixing the door too. <laughs> you can do this, Toro. How is she going to play the evil stepmother though? She's not the right... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Who is this? Have we seen this? Kinoshita. <laughs> I remember. I, yeah, I was going to say, have you seen her before? And I just realized who she is. Never mind. Yeah, what? Who thought it was the right decision to make Toru the evil stepmother? You know, but most. The person that's meant to be the most evil in the Cinderella play. Like, wouldn't it be better if she, like, played Cinderella? Anyway. Oh dear. This should be good. <laughs> Yeah, you right. <laughs> I like how the ladies were like, like me, son. <laughs> oh, this guy to make things. Yeah, where do you get that from? And who signed it? Oh, the principal signed it? I think the principal made a mistake. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> no. I don't think he should be doing any measurements for the ladies. Maybe. I don't know who's worse, actually, at doing the measurements. Yuki's brother or Mimi? Oh, dear. <laughs> I guess that works as well. But you're throwing out the script now. A Japanese Charlie's Angel Sports Bottle. <laughs> I think... Is that guy over there okay? <laughs> the princess character? Yeah, that's true. If the prince is not there for the rehearsals, then it's not going to help. Yeah, that's probably one of the reasons. He's also probably like, as as I, as we all know, he's a sundere, so him acting out scenes is definitely go it's definitely going to be a. I see it will be quite funny actually. <laughs> oh really you uh, this 
Um, code? No, that's not it. They definitely need to get this out of the open, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, Co. Oof. What are you... Oh, dear. Oh! Smash the window. <laughs> yeah, that's all the broken window. I wonder how long it's going to take uh, Co to come around. I think everyone's going to be looking forward to it. Oh. Seems like people have their own problems with Yuki. No, I don't think that's it. It has some something deeper than that. Oh. Is he going to see his broken hat and? How's he going to react to this? Do you like making Honda Sun worry? She has. She's, there we go. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think she will. She's not the type to laugh at you. Adorable. That blush was adorable. <laughs> oh, it's already over. I don't know why, but with this show, it just, it passes by so quickly that it feels like it should be longer. <laughs> it should be like, I don't know, 40 minutes rather than like 25. Hmm. But I think Ko is going to start opening up a bit more to Honda and he's going to realise that he was in the wrong with Yuki, maybe. I don't know how long it's going to take for him to realise that, but I think, judging by this episode, what we that confrontation, I think he's maybe starting to notice that... Yuki didn't 
actually have a nice upbringing. But I could be wrong about that. In fact, I could be completely off about that and it will be something completely different will happen. So I guess seeing by that title, we're going to be getting um, the Cinderella play next week, maybe. Something like Cinderella is the title after all, so we may actually see the play next week, which will be interesting. But, hmm. Will Ko and Toru be able to... Um, bring out their characters? Will they be able to actually play out their roles as prince and uh, evil stepmother? Especially since they're essentially playing against type because neither of, neither of the personalities are like that at all. So it definitely makes for an interesting, uh, dramatic, uh, if that's the right word, um, you can definitely see uh, Toru struggling with uh, uh, saying her lines in this episode, River, because she's just not the type to uh, play like the evil villain. And uh, I think Ko could pull it off because, well, he's going to probably sh end up showing the school and his classmates that, uh, in a way... Ko can be a prince as well, but it's going to take some time, I think, because judging by this episode, uh, we're going to slowly probably have Ko pull back the layers, as it were, and he's going to maybe open up some more and start to realize his feelings for uh, Honda, Toru, and maybe, just maybe, start to realise he was in the wrong about Yuki as well. But I don't fully know that, obviously, because, again, I'm completely blind uh, with this show. Uh, but I am looking forward to seeing uh, the C Cinderella play, and hopefully they don't, uh, like, skip over it. I don't think they will. Like, the only thing that this... Sh uh, for the Fruits Baskets 2019 slash 2020 version has done is, from what I've heard anyway, is that they've changed um, things around a bit from the manga. So some th things take place later on than they were in the manga and some take place earlier rather than in the manga. But besides that, it's apparently it's been like a complete faithful an adaption of uh, fruit, the Fruits Basket manga, which obviously I've not started reading yet. I don't plan on reading it until after the full Fruits Basket um, anime airs. So once uh, season three is over, I we still don't know if uh, season three is going to be uh, one or two core either, um, because I don't know how much they still have left to adapt at this point of the um of the manga maybe you guys can tell me in the comments if you've worked out where that we are in the in relation to the manga and uh maybe how much we still have to do and ju and by th doing that we can decipher i guess how much season three is going to have if it's going to be a two core or if it's going to be a one call. Anyway, thank you for watching my reaction to Fruits Basket Season 2, Episode 22. As I just said, please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below about what I just talked about. And I will see you soon for some more reactions. Have a good day as always. Bye.